Hello, everyone. My name is Kristen Brown, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the difference between masculine energy and feminine energy. It's important to note that each of us, every single human being on this planet has these both, both of these energies within us, but sometimes we're weighing very heavily in one side of the energy than the other, which is often contributing to our lack of joy, peace, and success, not only in our re romantic relationships, but it could also be in our work lives as well. Now, I, I need to mention that a lot of times what I've seen so much of, especially being a coach and hearing a lot of stories, is that many, many times women are really, really in their masculine. And they're in their masculine because as women, we were oppressed. And we were oppressed for a very, very long time. And my theory of this is because men know that women are very powerful. In fact, if I've ever spoken to self-actualized men, they will say that. They've straight up told me women don't understand how powerful they are. And I believe that a lot of men for millennia back in the day understood this power that women have. And they know that if, when they're around that right feminine energy, a, a balance, a woman that's got that balance, what's going to happen is that they're, they're very, they submit to that energy because it is that powerful. So somewhere along the line, we were very oppressed, but back in, I would say the baby boomers age, when women really started to come out from being just the homemakers and working in the home, and they started to go into careers, what they noticed is that they were very uh, oppressed in the in the workplace. They were not listened to. They were not deemed as equals. They were not seen as valuables. They were not seen as intelli intelligent. And they were, you know, and we know about this too, that they were often not even paid as much as men were paid. So women had to really learn to get into their masculine because they were coming out of this era of being the homemakers and very much in their feminine. And they had to learn and move over and shift into the masculine so that they could be seen, heard, and valued within the workspace. This is a large thing that has happened. But what has also happened with that is that many women now are dealing with their male partners from their masculine. Now, this doesn't mean that's bad because again, we want the balance of the two. And I want to be very clear in laying this out for you guys so that you can understand why there is so much talk in the world right now about the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies. Now, also keep in mind that this is the yin and the yang. This is the two pieces of the whole. So many times women might be too much in their masculine, but men could be too much in their feminine. That happens as well. So for each individual, it's up to us to use discernment, to go within, to become self-aware and to recognize where we're out of balance with our masculine and feminine energies. Because I promise you this, if you do the work to heal these parts of yourself, what you're going to notice is that your relationships are going to improve, your business is going to improve, your, your parenting is going to improve, everything about your life is going to improve because we are all energy. And when we can learn to balance that energy in the most optimal way, it can't but give us amazing results. So first, I want to share with you guys the difference between the two energies so that you're very clear on this. I researched this a couple of days ago because I was curious what people were talking about on YouTube about this. And what I noticed is there was a whole bunch of meditations about this. And I clicked on a couple of videos, but no one was really outlining this the way that it needs to be outlined so people can understand it. A lot of times women are, you know, we're hearing that women need to get into their feminine and women are processing this as they're supposed to be doormats. They're supposed to be all soft all the time. And that is absolutely not true. This is about the balance between the two. I probably said that 10 times already. And I'll keep saying it. So let's go into what the difference is between the two energies. Masculine energy is about risk-taking. It's action-oriented. It's assertiveness. It's boundaries. It's confidence. It's logic and analysis. It's objectivity. It's kind of the warrior feeling or energy. That is what the masculine energies does. And it is very, very left-brained. It's from the kind of the thinking, logical, action type feeling with masculine energy. Now, the feminine energies are things like intuitive, 
heart-centered, compassionate, wise, accepting, forgiving, collaborative, reflective, creative, which is very right-brained, kind, gentle, and sensual. So that's the main difference between the two energies. Now, you could probably tell when I was making this list that it serves human beings to be both of these things, to balance between these things. Because if you have a man that is super, or if someone is super in their masculine, which is action oriented, okay, then they may not be tapping into their compassionate side or their empathetic side. Or if you have someone that's super, super logical, then they might, they may not be able to tap into their creativity. If you have someone who is kind and gentle all the time, that could mean that they're maybe not setting and maintaining appropriate boundaries. So the key is to do, to have a balance between the two energies so that you can show up in your life, a better rounded and better grounded individual. I hope that helped explain the difference between the two energies. Sometimes it's called sacred feminine and sacred masculine. Sometimes it's called divine. Whatever terms you use is just know this. We are all energy. Every single one of us, everything on this earth, everything on this in this room, everything outside of my home is energy. And people are especially energy. So when we know that and understand that we have control over the type of energy that we are exuding in any given time, then we are get, we are actually reclaiming our personal power. And not only that, when we work to, to pull this energy in, in a very, very healthy and grounded way and practice this balance, we are going to immediately start to see a, an upgrade and improvement in our life and relationships. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you really got a lot from this today. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe and turn on notifications. I talk about all things regarding shame and unworthiness recovery, healing from toxic relationships, self-worth mask mastery, setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. And I'm all about energy and the law of attraction and all those type of woo-woo things. So thank you for being here, everybody. Please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with someone that you love. And I'll talk to you next time.